Hello Freedom Seekers, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead. Outside today, enjoying the snow, and we are also here to share with you guys just a few of our favorite things. All right, so we're inside now, and Shelly's with me. Say hi, Shelly. Hello. No, you didn't do it right, but say hi, Shelly. Say hi, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. There you go, all right. Uh, yeah, I know. Cheesy. It's okay. That's how I am. Dad jokes, you know, all that jazz. Oh, so we are in here in front of the Christmas tree. And first of all, we want to say thank you guys for a wonderful 2021. Um, we have reached our goal of 2,000 subscribers for this year, just as we get into the Christmas season. So for us, that is a great thing. And um, we want to do a giveaway to celebrate our 2,000 subscriber. Yeah. Uh, milestone, yeah, we'll call it a milestone, right? Sure. Yeah, all right. And uh, so what we're gonna be doing is giving away two sets of some of our favorite things. Now, I know you guys all know that, uh, that song, right? I simply remember my favorite things. And this is why we're doing this is because sometimes we have to remember our favorite things to kind of get us through the rough times. And um, you know, the last couple years have been kind of rough for some of us, so we wanna send some things to you guys that you can do at home. So. Favorite thing number one is fermented foods. We really love fermented foods. We just had yeah. some kimchi with our breakfast. We did. Uh, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sour. It's just everything that is good when it comes to fermented foods. So we are gonna be giving away a fermentation kit from Ball. This is a pretty decent kit. It's something that uh, you can do easily at home. This includes everything you need, uh, the jar, the uh, fermentation lid that has the one-way valve on it, and it also has the uh, a little spring in there to keep everything submerged underneath the fluids. This is a pretty good kit. Honestly, we haven't used this, but just by looking at it, we've used the jars before to do fermenting. So this is gonna be a good kit if you wanna make some homemade kimchi, homemade sauerkraut, uh, fermented pickles, pretty much it's good for anything fermented, so. Good stuff. All right, and favorite thing number two. Obviously, it's um, it's gonna be seed starting soon. Uh, excuse me, it's gonna be seed starting season soon. Wow, that's a lot of S's. And uh, favorite thing number two that is important yeah. and we found very useful for starting seeds is a garden dibbler. Now this is the dibbler that, one of the ones that I have made that we sell, so we're gonna be sending this into that favorite thing kit. And um, it just makes things really easy when it comes to seed starting. You've got your, your uh, quarter inch all the way through half inch demarcation so you can get those seeds right at the proper depth. So that's made from uh, oak harvested here on our property and made by me on my lathe. And favorite thing number three, uh, well this is if you can handle it, but uh, you know you don't have gluten issues. But favorite thing number three is sourdough. We have really been enjoying sourdough bread. Shelly, not so much, but uh, the boys and I, um, we, we've been on a sourdough bread kick, and uh, we've just, this last year, picked up some sourdough starter that we had uh, shipped from Canada, Ontario. So the history of this particular sourdough starter is that um, it actually can trace its roots all the way back to 19, or 1849 at the start of the gold rush in San Francisco. I, I really didn't, you know, fact check all of this information, but this is what this, uh, the, this sourdough starter claims is that it can be, and this is from uh, Kensington Sourdough in Toronto, Ontario. Ontario, excuse me, Toronto, Ontario. Sorry, Canadian friends, no offense meant. Um, but they say that this is, uh, this sourdough starter can trace its history all the way back to the 1950s. So that's um, pretty good. We've found that this sourdough starter works pretty well. We've made a couple loaves with it. Now, there have been some mistakes on my part, right? right? I don't always feed it like I should. Uh, but it is, it's pretty healthy and uh, rather robust. So um, this is going to be the third thing in our favorite things giveaway. In order to win, it's, it's real easy, in order to enter to win, we're actually gonna have two sets of our favorite things that we're gonna be giving away. So in order to win, all you gotta do is comment on this video. We'll be announcing the winner January 1st. We're gonna be releasing our video to announce the winner. So if you are interested in winning uh, this kit of our favorite things, 
make sure that you comment on this video. You have to leave a comment below. Don't don't go to some other video and leave a comment. Oh, I want to win Andrew Witt. No, no, don't don't leave a comment someplace else on this video. Okay, you don't have to like. You don't have to subscribe. If you do, we appreciate that. But uh, all that's required is to leave a comment on this video, and we will get these things shipped out to you so you can start uh, doing some of these favorite things during your winter time here. Because yeah. you know, yeah, winter's kind of a boring time, and it's nothing like having some new projects to start. So. Yeah. <laughs> once again <laughs> yeah, plenty of projects right once again we really appreciate you guys um, we wouldn't be where we're at without uh, faithful subscribers and faithful viewers so um, yeah thank you thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts um, don't forget to comment that's it just comment just say enter me yes I want it maybe Yummy you could tell us one of your favorite things yeah, or tell us there you go yeah. Leave it up to the wife to come up with some good interactive ideas. Yeah, leave a comment. Tell us what your favorite things are. Well, we went ahead and gathered the whole family together uh, just to wish you guys a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And, and until I next time, God bless. <laughs>